for sure. Am I good where I'm sitting into the mic? Is you this look a good so spot? good. Like, so good. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking me, I'll compliment you. I, I was asking. <laughs> I wasn't asking how I looked. What about me? You look fantastic as always. Thanks. You were just built for the screen. <laughs> I was asking if my mic to sound ratio, ratio is okay. It's on point. All right. You're thank good. You. I was built for See, the screen. Are you saying his... I have a big forehead? Yes. Yes. I have a big forehead. We have the same size forehead. <laughs> Mine just Look looks disproportionately larger. <laughs> Why would you think that? We both have the same. Your face is maybe slightly rounder than mine. I know what it is. So, here it was like the, it was you the evil little thing. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I. Uh, it was the thing I was teased about as a kid. Your forehead? Yeah. I had upper lip hair. Oh. Because my hair's so dark. It's it's just dark everywhere sorry no my mom but let it, me wax that real early <laughs> no my mom didn't no we didn't wax things mm -hmm. no I tried to shave once when I was really young and I shaved oh, a good no. layer of skin off of my legs you had to go to school ah uh, yeah I did it on my <laughs> arms too because my arms have always been very you can't see but my because <laughs> it's been lasered off now <laughs> I've always it had, doesn't exist just, anymore I'm Native American which you don't know this but we discussed this earlier yeah um so this is a natural color. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's dark hair, arms, legs, just like very, very, very dark hair. Very fair skinned and very, jet black hair. But I tan it's very a more quickly Scottish. and very easily. I'm not like Ryan where it's like you see the sun peeking in through the window and suddenly you look like a tomato. Yeah, that's my husband. Yeah. Tomato Ryan. <laughs> I'll get tomato and then I'll turn into a very, very dark tan because I have mm -hmm. a lot of Native American in my uh, family, but I have very, very dark. So it was always upper lip for me. I had upper lip hair and I didn't, I didn't know like elementary school, like do anything about it. You know, I had one girl come up Kids and are sick. so mean. she goes, you have a five finger forehead. And she'd put her <laughs> hand on my forehead and measure I guess it out I do too, right? and show everybody in class. It was the only thing I was ever made fun of for. That's so but funny. The her. things kids come up with. I wasn't even upset. Of. Like it was funny. It was upsetting. It it haunts me, but I Clearly. liked her. <laughs> No, mine was my, my, uh, and maybe like, I remember being made fun of for my, oops, sorry, hit my mic, uh, my mustache <laughs> a few times, but, um, I was always very insecure because I had just dark, dark arm hair, dark, dark leg hair. Yeah. I wouldn't wear shorts most of my childhood. Yeah. I didn't either. My hair was much, much darker. It's too dark. And, and I, then I shave and then it would, it would sorry bleed. guys, but it would, no, it <laughs> would just I grow back. myself all the time. Give me 12 hours and I've got stubble. <laughs> Like a, you know, like a, yeah, I've got stubble, oh, so stubble here, mm. no. but give me 12 hours of shaving my legs, maybe even 10 hours. And then I've got prickly stubbly legs. So it's very insecure about dresses and shorts and what an opening to a show. Hello everyone. Uh. Welcome to my childhood insecurities. <laughs> you brought it up. How did we end up talking yes. about this? That's the new show. Welcome to our childhood insecurities with <laughs> yes. Caitlin and Clarissa. Yes. Three minutes into the episode, we'll tell you about what we're doing today. <laughs> and that I've had all my hair lasered off. Today is episode four. We're covering the reign of Robert the First. Did you just France. say episode four? Yep. You did. I did. It is episode <laughs> 24. And I thought that opening was so smooth. It was because you hit record without telling me. Oh, it always yeah. feels very smooth to you. It's very exciting. I'm over here like, all right, let's have this out before we hit record. And you're over there like, meh. <laughs> episode 24 today covering Robert the France, who we didn't know that we actually covered mostly last yep. time we got. We, we got very confused at the end last mm -hmm. episode. And we were like, we told you we'd what? unmuddy the waters. So here we are today. Mm -hmm unmuddying and we're going to talk about robert the first of france this week and then next week we're going to talk about rudolph who we actually ended on mm -hmm. uh last episode yep again back to this i think i'm maybe we should just lead with this every episode like hmm. fireside chats from half-informed royal malarkey i love it <laughs> <laughs> 
That's uh, my new favorite description of the show. We'll put in links to Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah. Where the facts are. If you want to know. If you really want to know something, <laughs> yeah. go here. If you want here. to know what's true or not, <laughs> go check there. But we're going to have our little yeah. fireside chat. Half believe the things we're saying. Like the person, <laughs> yes, they're real. I didn't mm-hmm. make up a person. They do I, exist. The years are accurate. Yep. Mostly. If we say them, sometimes we don't. <laughs> we try <laughs> fireside really chats that's that's what uh, we should rename the show fireside chats yes. with royal malarkey ah we have a new side show Yay. Yay. what was this oh it was, it was a dance it was partying okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was okay oh yeah i know you had to decide decipher my actions most of the time yes. so today is just robert the first of france yes not a combo episode like Caitlin thought. <laughs> if we didn't have enough um, shenanigans at the beginning, the timeline that Caitlin is in charge of, yeah, um, we were going to cover Robert the France and Rudolph today. Oh, Robert the France. Robert the France. Do yeah. <laughs> Robert the First of France and Rudolph of France, because they're fairly short reigns. We were going to cover mm-hmm. them all in episode 24, and then in 25, we were going to cover... Louis the fourth. Okay. Which I didn't obviously I did not know. Someone didn't know how to read my timeline. No. So it's she me. only <laughs> researched I'm the someone. <laughs> <laughs> she did not research enough. So and today we are only covering Robert the first <laughs> And I set up my uh images. For two separate episodes, so all of it was done as two ep- <laughs> two separate episodes. So you'll get to say see half of it this week and half of it next week. <laughs> and you're getting a little bit more banter at the beginning because it's really short. You're episode. saying you did that intentionally? I do things intentionally at times. You don't tell me; they feel very. That's the idea. Okay. Get the better reaction. Got it. Would more you natural. have? Would you have ranted about your leg hair as long if I had informed you? Would I rant about my leg hair if I knew you were recording? You you knew at that point. Yes, but we <laughs> were already halfway into the conversation and I had already talked about my childhood mustache <laughs> before I knew you were recording. So at that point, WTF, might as well just tell the whole story. Might as well. Give the people what they want. They want Whiskey, know. tango, foxtrot. <laughs> Someone said that to me this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? Oh. Oh. Explain. Whiskey. Starts with A. W. Tango. T. Foxtrot. F. <laughs> Thank you, brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's what is that? It's like the radio alphabet or whatever. I think it's like a... I feel like there was some kind of spy movie. Yes, but that's what it is. It's the... Radio, whatever. Okay. Oh, good lord. Okay. Yikes. Episode Hi. twenty-four. Robert the first. Yeah, France. So last week we told you about Charles the Simple, and a little bit to remind you of him. He had six daughters and no sons. He, he had was a son. Huh? He had a son. Oh, no sons with his first wife. Ah. So he had six daughters and a son. <laughs> He did. And we talked about him and we told them we would talk about you. him at a labor, later date. La- labor date. Which would have been next week, but not now. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's the guy that got booted by Odor from the throne and then he got himself booted for basically showing too much favor. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. He's the guy that removed Odo from oh. the throne and then he Odor, in turn, you <laughs> Odor. Odor. My notes, Odor. <laughs> my notes keep correcting Odo to Odor. How so often there's do a, you talk about Odor to your notes? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's happening. Mm-hmm. I don't catch them all. Anyway, the point is Pokemon. he also got removed from the throne because he showed too much favoritism to a lesser nobleman. Paul, I have that somewhere. Paul m- m- it was like Hagen, Hag, Hageman, yes. Hagar, Hagen, Hagar, Hagenen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway, mm-hmm. on to our next slide that it 
tells you a little bit. Uh, Look at him. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. handsome. Look at that nose. Okay, so Robert was born circa 866. He is the brother of King Odo. Yes. Um, And he was born posthumously to Mm -hmm. Robert the Strong. Mm -hmm. He's the youngest son of Robert and his wife. Which Um, makes sense because he was born... After his father died. He couldn't be the oldest, that's for sure. But he yep. could have had younger brothers. Technically, someone else could have been brothers. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he was elected king of Francia in 888. Um, after the whole debacle with Charles, Charles, Charles the Simple. Charles, why are you making that face? Do you don't remember the debacle with? Charles the Simple. My debacle is he was elected king in 888. 888? No. Yes. What year was he born? 866. 922? No. He was elected king in 888. Sternly disagree with you, but we will move on. (laughs) Why do you sternly disagree with me? Oh, I don't know. I I don't write down their births. I write down I do. other things. But all of my dates are in the 900s. Did you research the wrong person? No, this is definitely him. It's all the right info. How do you know? <laughs> it's all the right info for me. <laughs> we'll just ignore my dates since Caitlin feels very confident in hers. He died in 923. Yeah. I have that. Yes. But he reigned 922 to 923. You said he reigned in 888. He was elected king in 888. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I catch you? I don't know. <laughs> it's just he reigned for less than a year. Why don't you tell us what you have and I will go <laughs> figure out where my information came from. Fireside chats <laughs> <laughs> i like this new name <laughs> it makes me feel better Let's about us off the hook big time so, oh it does say elected king mm-hmm. 922 i don't know where 888 came from i can't believe i even caught it enough to like say something about it <laughs> what did we tell you at the beginning elected of the king episode of, i copy and pasted that from somewhere nix <laughs> anyway what what do we say at the top of the episode? Uh, like some things will be right. Dates when we get them will definitely be right. <laughs> the dates are always right. No, I think I came back and said most of the time. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Robert, or as I then decided to call him in my notes, Robbie, uh, had a short reign over West Francia from 922 to 923. He did. He only reigned for a year. Mm-hmm. So his pre kingship self. Oh, that was rough <laughs> for me. He participated in the Viking Siege of Paris. Yes, the same one that we've been talking about over and over again with Odo. There are a lot of them. A lot of Viking sieges. There's a main one and it's the early 900s. And Odo was declared hero of Paris. And it's the whole reason... He was declared or elected as king, right? Uh, His older brother. He faithfully served under his brother Odo as Margrave for about 10 years. And when his brother died, Charles the Simple took the throne. Robert went ahead and swore fealty to him easily. Like he didn't like to (laughs) test. That's the wrong one. Contest. Contest. Thank you, friend. (laughs) Uh, he, He didn't contest. Charles the Simple, Simple's mm-hmm. reign, that totally worked, right? Yeah. Even though he was now, like, really, really powerful because he inherited all of his family's reigns between the land of the Seine and the Lori Rivers. So, Blah. YouTubers, you have a little bit of a reference here. There's the Seine River, um, right? And it kind of feeds into Paris. And then the, there's the Lori. So, Robert's... Do it again. Loire. Ah. <laughs> when I get silent, I need to hear it clearer. <laughs> you keep saying Lori, and I'm like, oh, that's painful. 
<laughs> You're like, it hurts my it French hurts, education. It hurts us. <laughs> Uh, so then I wanted to show you where the Northman is. Uh, it's this little R. wing. R. There are people, not a place. Thank you. Mm. Um, it's And it's a little bit where the sin is. Like it's, there's two little tributaries. Yeah, sure. Because this map, I think, is more current day outline. Okay. Uh -huh. But that's roughly where uh, they live. And then Robert's Land is all of the stuff in between the two rivers. So he's inherited quite a bit of West Francia. Just so What's you know. What's on the other side of the Loire? Um, it's just other nobles and stuff. But he owned a huge portion of West Francia. I guess Francia. I'm thinking we're West Francia, so he should have all of that. No, this is pre-kingship. Pre-kingship. Okay. So he... So as a... He was a nobleman and he owned that. He that was in portion. charge of that... Oh, she's on board. I'm on board now. <laughs> As a nobleman, <laughs> he went, even though he could have probably contested for the throne, he chose because not Because he to. was like the, if we're following the bloodline of the last king. Yes. But, um. But they started electing people. There are still Carolingians. Yes. Who, who were ordained mm -hmm. by God. So there's a lot of. Yes. Back and forth. So, in 911, uh, if that sta date stands out to everybody, it should. This is where Rolo comes into play again. And we've told you his story quite a bit over time. I want to say this. Uh, oh, you have it in there. Never mind. Uh, it was Robert who led the defeat of the Northmen in Chartres, which shot. 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 <laughs> Which paved the way for the Treaty of, can you say it? Saint-Claire. Uh, Saint-Claire-Sripte. Yep, that one. Uh, the one where Charles the Simple gave Rollo some land, a.k.a. Normandy. Uh, a wife, which I believe was his daughter. A, Wait, whose daughter? Charles the Simple gave Rollo. Yes. Uh, a duchy and uh, he, Rollo went ahead and converted to Christianity Mm -hmm. Which was on Vikings, if anyone's watched it. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't know is that Robert was actually his godfather. So he was baptized, obviously, at a m much later age. He was not a child when he was baptized, but he converted mm -hmm. to Christianity. He does get baptized. And Robert was very much in support of a Carolingian king, um, even though technically from the Robertian dynasty he could have inherited. He was mm -hmm. he supported Charles the Simple because he was a Carolingian. So he did stand as godfather at the baptism of Rollo into mm -hmm. Christianity. Yep. Even though his brother was just previously king for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He he knew his place as a nobleman. <laughs> or he knew how to work the system at least. That's true. So now we move into his kingship in nine twenty two. Uh Robert Basically had enough of Charles the Simple's favoritism to his first... Hagano. There it is. I have it right. I knew it was in here somewhere. <laughs> it took us a minute, but we got Hagano. there. Hagano. <laughs> he got tired of all that favoritism to his first wife's brother mm -hmm. and led the rebellion against Charles, which was supported by a lot of noblemen and clergy. Yeah. Yes. And they drove Charles into Lothringia in June of 922. And in Reims... Right around that same Hem. time. Yep. In Hem. Around that same time frame. On YouTube, guys, there's uh, Reims right there. Reim. Hem. Uh The little period is supposed to be where I believe <laughs> it is. It is not factually the dot. correct. The dot. Thank it's you. not factually correct? It's pretty close, but I assume that I'm off a little bit. To oh, those. you put the dot there. I did. Ugh. I made this. Okay. Sort of. You know, mm -hmm. me. Yeah, you love to make maps. You're a cartologist. Oh, I like this new role. <laughs> Feels so fancy. <laughs> anyway, he was elected king at Riem. 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 Oh, thank you. You're so nice. <laughs> and sarcastic, and I love it. <laughs> I was not sarcastic. Oh, I was I genuine. meant it with my whole heart. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... All of this happened, and Rolo was not on board with the Pagano. 
not what I was going with. Okay. Nope. He doesn't like Hagano, though. Oh, I didn't know that. You, you just said that. No, I was talking about Robert. I now moved on to Rolo. Oh, ignore me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rolo was not on board with a coup against Charles because he remained loyal to the guy that instated him, gave him land, and he married the guy's daughter. It's his father-in-law. And together, Rolo and Charles fought at the Battle of Soissons. Uh, And Robert went there and fought while his army did win. He died. Robert. Robert dies on June 15th, 923. After that, Charles was captured and held captive. So his army won, he died, but Charles was captured in the fight. But have we talked about the fact that Charles got dethroned? He did get dethroned. And Robert was king. Yes. Did you say that? Yeah. I must have been looking up years (laughs) that I had wrong. I believe... Uh, he was crowned king in nine, June of 922, elected king at Reims. He was elected, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We were trying to get through him. Him. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry I missed it, but I wanted yeah. to make sure we said that. Yes. Charles was dethroned. Robert I of France became king. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And then Robert's rule was contested by Rollo, who you were saying mm-hmm. had loyalty to Charles. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um yeah, and then you said June fifteenth, nine twenty three, Robert the First was killed in the Battle of Soissons. Mm-hmm. Soissons. Um but Robert, did you say this? Robert's army won the battle. Yep. You said that? Yep. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Where am I? How did I not hear this? <laughs> I'm listening to you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Charles was captured? Yep. Uh, But he did not die until much later. 929. Yes. Yes. Oh, wrong. Next slide. We're here. Sorry, guys. (laughs) This is off the rails. It's never off the rails. It's exactly how we mean it to happen. This is where we want it to be. This is what we wanted. Yes. So, uh, Charles dies 929 um, and... His son-in-law, Rudolf, the Count of Burgundy. So before we go into that, we did not talk about this, and mostly because I don't have specific years, but Robert was already married twice when he finally became king. So his first wife's name was Alice, um, and he had two daughters, Hmm. um, Adela, a name much contested, um... And Emma of France. Hmm. Um, Emma. Who That's married. A popular name. Yeah. Um, and she married a guy named Rudolf, mm-hmm. who will come up later. Um, and then after Alice died, Robert married a second time around 890 to Beatrice. Um, and they had a son named Hugh the Great, born in 898, who will come up later, as sons tend to do. They pop back up. They do. So, um, Charles dies in 929, and then, uh, because Robert was killed in battle, he succeeded. You already said this. He is succeeded by Rudolf, his son in law. Yeah. The Count of Burgundy. Yep. Also known as Raoul. 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 I believe I called him Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> we'll talk about his nicknames. Next week. Yay. Now it's time for Relevant Tidbits. <gasps> you like our new music? Cause yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, YouTube. It took us a while to get there, but we got there. We sang to you a lot. We did. It and was painful. You're welcome. Yeah. For the music. <laughs> and singing. <laughs> and the singing. Sure. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> This week on Relevant Tidbits, Relevant Tidbits, we are talking about 12 medieval, you know, bizarre medieval trends from LiveScience.com. Thank you, friend. You're so welcome. You're my favorite. 
Uh, this week we're doing number nine, which is Unicorns and Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, I always get the pleasure of reading it to you. If one might scroll up, up just thank you. There you are. Um, unicorns and Jesus. If medieval people loved two things, it was mythology and religion. And these two often combined in a very peculiar way. Due to a mistranslation of what was likely intended to be an ox, people commonly believe that the Bible likened Jesus to a unicorn, according to Book of Beasts, the bestiary in the medieval world by J. Oh, J. Paul Getty Museum of 2019, edited by Elizabeth Morrison. The Book of Beasts. All right, medieval folk ran with this idea and the unicorn or whatever they believed to be a unicorn repeatedly cropped up in religious medieval art medieval art medieval <laughs> that's right medieval like to say <laughs> only as uh, as only innocent maidens were allowed to touch unicorns the unicorn was also used as a strangely uncomfortable allegory of christ entering his mother's womb Oh, that is uncomfortable. It became uncomfortable, didn't it? Yikes. It's, Yowza. They spoke it into existence. Yeah. Well, I guess the medieval world did. That's not really us. Yeah. Mm, you want to do this one more time? Yeah. <laughs> we were a little off on that. We were. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thanks for sticking around, guys. <laughs> we love it when you do. <laughs> <laughs> for our fireside chat. That was halfway correct <laughs> mostly we got there in the end <laughs> you can find us at royalmalarkey.com you should check out our twitter instagram facebook youtube network version tv and please if you are a podcast listener only please write and review us on itunes otherwise please hit the subscribe button on youtube mm -hmm. give us a like and answer our questions in the comments or just give us a comment or just tell say us, hi yeah how much you love our Insanity. Boisterous personalities. And on that note, <laughs> see you next week. Toodles.